Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will start with the subject operating system. First, we will discuss about introduction to operating system. When a user switch on the system, initially it will take some time to load the home screen. This is because once the system is switched on, a software will run in the background that needs to get activated and takes over the control of the entire system devices. This is the first software that is loaded into the memory once the system is switched on. So that is nothing but the operating system. So operating system is a program that manages the computer hardware devices. By utilizing these hardware devices, the operating system will help to obtain the maximum efficiency. It also acts as a basis for application program and acts as an intermediary between user and the computer hardware. The application program is nothing but if a user wants to run any specific application, the operating system should provide an interface to run that application. For example, if a user wants to run any specific applications like word processor, web browser, spreadsheet, likewise, the operating system will provide an interface to run that application and that satisfies the specific user needs. So, the operating system, if you are considering, it acts as an intermediary between user by providing an interface to run the specific applications and also manages and coordinates all the computer hardware devices connected to that particular system. So, if you are considering the operating system, it controls the processor, file system, devices connected to the system and the memory. And this operating system will stop running once the system is turned off. Once the system is switched on, it manages and controls all the connected devices to that particular system and the applications run by the user with that particular system. So one side if you are considering it supports the user to run their specific applications conveniently and other side if you are considering it controls and allocates the required resources by the user efficiently. The popular example of operating system includes Apple Mac OS, Microsoft Windows, Android, Apple iOS and Linux. So if you are considering this Android and Apple iOS, these two are specific for smartphone devices. The primary aim of designing the operating system depends upon the type of the user using the system. So accordingly, the operating system is designed to be convenient, efficient or also combination of both. For example, if you are considering the personal computer, the individual users will use the personal computer. So the user may run the applications like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Spreadsheet or a web browser or any game applications. So here the aim of the operating system is to provide a convenient environment to run the user applications. And if you are considering the mainframe operating system, many users may access this computer by sitting with different terminals. So here the user will share the resources and will exchange the information. So here the operating system aim is to maximize the resource utilization efficiently. And if you are considering the handheld computers, these handheld computers are limited to size, power and speed. So here the operating system must be designed to provide a easy interface for program execution. So if you are considering the operating system, one side it should provide a convenient environment to run the applications and other side if you are considering it should utilize the resources efficiently and the other type of computers if you are considering that lies in between these two convenient and efficient next definition for operating system the operating system is a program running all the times on a computer usually called the kernel with other two programs that is a system program and application program so the kernel is nothing but the area where the operating system programs run and this only will connect the system hardware with the application software. And also the all the privileged instructions will be executed only in kernel mode. The system programs are associated with the operating system and this only will help to operate the computer hardware. And these system programs are installed during the OS installation itself. And these system programs will run only in the background. So here the user cannot able to interact directly with these system programs. This 
system program will provide a basis for the application program that is with the support of the system program only the application program will run okay so example for system program includes compiler interpreter assembler debugger and these application programs are nothing but the programs includes all the user program to satisfy the specific user needs and these application programs whenever it is required according to the requirement the user can install and these application programs will run only with the support of the system program so examples include microsoft office adobe photoshop web browser etc thank you for watching this video